Hello friends, this video on sound part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now let us talk about solids. Let us see or let us try to prove that sound can travel through solids. In fact, you can also prove these small, small things yourself. So let us take some examples of solids and we will see that how sound can propagate through them. So the first example that we can take is that of this wooden table. So this is wood. So wood is a solid, right? So here you see there are two guys. Now this guy, what is he doing is he is beating the table, beating the table. So he is striking on the table. So that is producing some sound, correct? Okay. Now this sound is being heard by this person who is like, now he is not beating it very hard so that everybody can hear it. Like even if he is very gently tapping the table or he is scratching the table. And if somebody else who is on the extreme other end of the table and he keeps his ears close to the table, he would be able to hear the sound which is being made by first guy. So that is because, why is he able to hear this? Because sound can travel through solids. Now, if you want, you can try some other experiments also. For example, instead of using a wooden uh, table, you might use a metal rod. So you use a metal rod and I mean, which is not hollow. It is like a solid rod and somebody is making some sound on one end and you keep your ear on the other end and you will be able to, able to hear the sound. So basically sound can travel through solids like metals or wood or strings, plastics, etc. So let us look at these examples. Like when you talk, I mean, you would have um, created the toy telephones when you were kids. Like you just take two boxes and then you attach them with a string and then you talk to each other. So how are you able to talk to each other? Because sound can travel through solids. Now, when I say that sound can travel through solids, some of you might even think that, but I have heard people saying that there are certain substances which are very good in absorbing sound. So some of the solid materials also act as sound absorbers. So if we use those materials, sound gets reduced. One such example is curtains. You would have seen that uh, if you have curtains in your house, the sound transfer reduces. Or let us say if you are sitting inside your study room and you are speaking something loudly. Now when the door of your study room is open, then the sound then your sound is reaching more to your living room. But when the door of your study room is closed, your sound is reaching less to the living room. Why? Because when the door is closed or when you have things like things which are good sound absorbers like curtains or fiberglass or foam etc. So these materials they tend to absorb sound energy. So when they absorb so less amount of sound energy is being transmitted further. So therefore you would have seen that in offices, the conference rooms or the recording rooms, they are all made soundproof. So that sound from outside cannot enter inside the room and similarly sound from inside cannot come outside the room. But otherwise when you talk about propagation of sound, sound can propagate through solids. Whether it is metal, whether it is a wood, whether it is a string, whether it is a plastic, so sound can travel through them. And another important thing is, it is not only that it can travel and it can also travel in all directions. It is not that it can only travel in one direction or it will travel only linearly, nothing like that. It just travels in all directions. Now we will take the same example. Now this guy is beating the table or striking the table. So the source of sound is here. This person is able to hear the sound from here. Now, let us suppose if somebody is standing here, do you think he will also be able to hear the sound? Yes, of course. If somebody is standing just next to him here, will he be able to hear the sound? Yes, of course. That is because the sound travels in all direction from the source. It is not that it will travel only in one direction. Okay, so this was about propagation of sound through solids. Now, let us talk about liquids how sound travels through liquids. So now, uh, in order to check the propagation of sound through liquids, you can perform this very simple experiment. What you can do is, uh, you take 
uh, any vessel containing water and fill water to the surface. Now take a bell deep inside the water. So as you can see here, so the bell is completely under the water and then you ring the bell. You just move it. So it should ring. Now, if sound travels through water, you should be able to hear the sound when you are at the surface of the water. Now, what do you see? You see that yes, you are able to hear the sound of the bell. So that proves that sound travels through liquids. In fact, this is how the aquatic organisms, they speak with each other. So if you look at the uh, oceans, not only oceans, if you look at a small aquarium, you see a lot of living organisms inside that aquarium. Like you see a lot of different fishes, you also see small creatures. And what do you think? How do they communicate? So they also communicate with some sort of sound. And they are able to communicate with the help of sound because sound can propagate through water. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.